everyone welcome back to my channel so the first thing i want to say is that i am so sorry that i haven't posted a video in like two months i've been really busy i've been moving so i sincerely apologize for that i'm gonna make sure i'm on a regular schedule as an apology i am giving one of the jacqueline hill palettes away all you have to do is be subscribed to my youtube channel follow me on instagram and leave a comment down below and i will probably choose a winner probably in two weeks and i will put a date in the description box i will link my instagram name and yeah so all you have to do is be subscribed what did i say be subscribed follow my instagram and leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up if you want if you want to see how i got this look using the jaclyn hill palette then please keep watching I am starting off with this shade right here as a transition shade. I lost the card that has all the names on it, so I'm just going to have to say this shade. <laughs> then I'm picking up this burgundy shimmery shade all over my lid. This is actually my favorite shade in the palette, aside from like the blues. All the blues are also my favorite, but this is my other favorite. So as you see, it's extremely pigmented. I didn't even spray my brush with Fix Plus because it just wasn't needed. And there's very minimal fallout, barely any fallout at all. So I'm just taking another brush and I'm really diffusing the outside. I'm then picking up this orangey reddish shade and it's going right on top of the shade we've been using to make it a little bit more blended and kind of like an ombre look. Then I'm taking a fluffier blending brush and I'm just blending all of that together. I'm then picking up this white shade to highlight my brow bone. And as you see, I'm kind of pulling the white down a little bit just so the crease color wasn't as high. I'm then picking up the original transition shade that we used in the beginning and also applying that underneath the white. And then I picked up like this kind of dark burgundy brownish shade and I'm kind of just deepening up the crease a little. I then picked up the shade that we used on the lid and I'm applying that on my waterline and really just diffusing that as well. And now I'm reapplying some of that shadow also on my lid just because after a while all the blending you know some of the colors start to like disappear so I'm just adding it more. And then I'm also lining my eyes and I'm using this L'Oreal Paris felt tip. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I think the Kat Von D tattoo liner is definitely my favorite and I just ran out of it at the moment. And if I would have had it, I would have used it. Um, but it's kind of comparable, but it's just not as good. And then I'm taking these Kiss eyelashes. They're super wispy. They remind me of Wispies by Ardell. They're pretty much the same. I love drugstore eyelashes. Um, yeah, so I really liked how these came out. I'm then lining my waterline with just a black eyeliner. You know, I really tried to stay away from black eyeliner underneath my eye just because like it's, I'm so comfortable using it. So I try to stay away from it, get out of my com comfort zone. But um, with this eye look, because it's like so dramatic, I feel like, I feel like you need the black eyeliner kind of to balance it out with the lashes. Next, I am adding mascara and then I'm taking this tool that I use to apply my falsies with and just pushing the lashes together, my falsies and my real ones. Next, I'm just applying some Neutrogena Bronzer in Sunkissed. I already have my foundation and concealers on and I'm just touching up my bronzer a little bit and applying some Anastasia highlighter in So Hollywood. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued, so I should probably stop using it in my videos just so you guys are able to use the same thing I am. Um, it's just really one of my favorite highlighters, so I also need to try to stay away from that as well. I'm then picking up this Too Faced lip gloss. Uh, I think it's called the Lip Injections one. I love how it's such like a nice nude. And that will complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Bye!